Quick little break to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Seeking therapy can feel like this huge, intimidating step. I get it. And every year I set this goal for myself to go seek therapy, but it just gives me major anxiety. For some reason, the process really scares me, but I know that I go through a lot emotionally and it would be very beneficial for me to seek professional help. The reason that I would want to seek therapy would be to improve on my mental health and be proactive about my self-growth. And my friends and family listen and they're so supportive, but it can only go so far. What I really need, and I know what a lot of you who want to improve on your mental health need, is someone qualified. I personally want someone to help me process my ups and downs, my anxiety. I need like actual tools to cope. But this is my well-being on the line. And if you feel overwhelmed about finding a therapist, booking a therapist, I am too. But this is where BetterHelp comes in. As a sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp makes starting therapy stress-free and simple. I took such a quick questionnaire and that's for BetterHelp to best match you to a licensed therapist trained to meet all your needs. And then from then on, you can just schedule your phone or a video session. No awkward in-person meetings. And the best part is, is that you can always switch up your therapist if it's not the right fit. Because I know that you have to shop around for a therapist that you really connect with. So join over 4 million people who have already joined BetterHelp to improve on their mental health. Visit betterhelp.com slash Maria Bethany or choose my channel name, Maria Bethany, when you sign up for BetterHelp so you can get a discount off your first month. I'm proud of myself for starting therapy and I'm proud of you. So we're in this together. Now on to the rest of the video. Good morning guys. Good morning from Montreal. I woke up famished so I am chugging on this orange juice right now and then later I'm gonna make myself coffee. For now I am just putting on some skincare. I'm not gonna put any makeup on today even though I actually brought a whole bag of it packed like full sizes too which i shouldn't have uh, even packed with the uh, airport security and uh, all of that so i kind of fumbled on that one i don't even think i'm gonna be wearing makeup on this trip this is a 24-hour trip i'm only putting on skincare on my face right now because i am going to go to a skin analysis i'm here with la roche posay i am filming a tiktok campaign for them and they kindly asked me to come to montreal to do a skin analysis which is going to be pretty cool i'm probably going to learn lots of stuff about my skin that i didn't know before and it's going to impose a lot of new fears and new skin concerns that um i'm gonna want to fix i'm not a hypochondriac but with my skin i feel like i'm always scared of breaking out so we'll see we'll see what i learn and hopefully it's for the best hopefully i know how to manage my skin a little bit better this is actually crazy i brought a whole full face of makeup and uh, i technically can't wear any of it because you have to be bare face for the skin analysis so I'm just going to lightly apply some brow gel and jump into a new outfit. Go make myself coffee and then head there. I'll film what I can. I just thought it would be fun to bring you guys along because I never really like travel for work and it will be something different than staying at home. But this is going to be 24 hours or less than 24 hours because I leave tonight. I have to be at the airport at like 5.30, 6.30. It's 9 right now. The skin class is at 11. I'm gonna go for lunch with the team and then I technically, I guess, have like from 1 to 6 of free time. And with that, I think I'm gonna go to a cafe and uh, do something there. I'm by myself here, so just whatever I wanna do, I guess. Of course, it's so perfect that I'm breaking out on the skin analysis day. Stunning, great. Montreal is cold when i landed yesterday i'm used to calgary weather like i'm i can be pretty good with cold but it's a different type of cold out here it's like oh my god okay i think it is coffee time got all ready to head 
head out. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing sporty and rich and it's this really comfy cashmere set. I put my shoes on. It's just New Balance and uh, this is amazing. I feel like I'd give the best hugs right now. I feel so soft. It's like walking around with a blanket and it's going to be perfect as well for traveling and being in the plane. Thanks your personal items or any item uh, identified with a white Good morning class. Today we are gonna do a coffee strawberry cold foam latte. Yes. I tried this recipe out with matcha already on my TikTok, but I am doing it today with strawberry. So just getting all my ingredients out. And we're gonna make it iced. I already have uh, the cup or glass that I'm using to whisk the strawberry foam in the freezer. It is very important that you freeze that container because the milk has to be very chilled to become that really frothy, cloudy foam that we're looking for. Ice is going in the cup. And to whisk the foam, Okay, I don't want to hear about any milk frothers. You just use the whisk. That's all you need. I'm gonna make one Shot of espresso. This is just instant coffee. I'm not the biggest like coffee person I wish that I was because I actually do love coffee and the taste of it I wish like I had a machine and a whole setup and it could make fresh coffee But I just don't drink it every day because it just doesn't make me feel that good. I have a anxiety and so this Devil's plant makes me feel even more out of whack. I just have to kind of like limit myself I just I just can't have it every day shot of espresso is ready I'm gonna wait to put this once the foam is ready because I don't want it to melt in the ice Pulled my mixer out of the freezer and it's cold Use a mixer because it chills much faster than anything else So guys basically in here we're gonna use one teaspoon of freeze-dried strawberry powder. This is gonna give the color, this is gonna give the taste. And then the 1883 strawberry syrup is going to give a little bit of a taste too, but the sweetness, because the freeze-dried strawberries, they don't have any sweetness. I'm gonna put two teaspoons. And then we're gonna put the milk in. I switched from oat milk, and I don't even drink all my milk that much anymore, except when I'm out. Oat milk was making me feel bloated and uh, giving me skin problems and it, the oils in that thing as well as a lot of oats are not gluten free so that was not even good for me either to begin with so I just switched back to the good old cow milk let's whisk I wish this was actually colder I don't know if it's the right right texture but we are still gonna go ahead and serve this up so I'm gonna put the coffee into the cup of ice and then the foam is gonna go on top with the milk let's get a good shot of this honey and there you go you have your coffee strawberry latte yes get ready with me because I'm going to head out to run one errand, but then I have to go to Sarah's place so we can work on often. If you missed a couple vlogs, especially the last vlog that I posted, Sarah is my friend and co-founder because we started a brand together called Often. And Often is our initial collection of signature headbands that are customized embroidered headbands. So you see where we drew the inspiration and the pun for the collection name and the product name as well. We are literally in the final, final few stages of often because we are gearing up to launch tomorrow. Crazy, I know. Because last time that I talked to you guys about this, it was just kind of like still in fruition. And we've been working very hard almost every single day to come out with it as soon as possible. So we work together, I feel like about three times a week. I come over or she comes over or we meet at a coffee shop in the middle. And we work on marketing, some content, and that's a lot from my end since I already do content creation full time. So I'm able to help lots with that and she is definitely the brains of the operation so she's the one kind of being the point of contact for the manufacturers she's also doing lots of the website as well as like we're doing all of this by ourselves just two girls i'm just the baby figuring out as we go 
truly especially because we are doing a product from scratch it's not like we're just getting it ready from somewhere else and just slapping our name on it we thought about everything that goes into it so we definitely made things harder for ourselves but it is part of the journey and one that we kind of wanted to partake on because we care about it so much so often is doing very well well we're gonna truly see tomorrow and uh, i'm uh, basically done with uh, making content for my instagram and often's instagram as well so you will see that come out very soon if you haven't already because i'm just so late and posting these i'm also bad at vlogging because i vlog for like three days straight and then i just kind of forget about it and then i have to pick it up and even though it's not like a true week in the vlog i really try to stay as authentic as i can as i have for like ever since i started really to show you guys what i usually do on a weekday what i usually do on a weekend i don't really have a very exciting life i don't even really like to watch those vlogs either i film what i like to watch on youtube on my spare time and uh, whenever people are just sitting down doing their makeup talking about whatever is what i like to tune into the most so i hope that you guys feel the same i used two concealers one was like not bright enough and my under eyes are suffering i use the hourglass one on top of the laura mercier real flawless perfecting concealer so i use these two and the foundation that i use is the laura mercier real flawless foundation as well that one yeah that one we're thinking about that one that went viral on tiktok two months ago I like it. I just like don't know what's happening with my skin. I think just because of like I honestly didn't really prime it that well before putting the foundation in. So it's kind of like mo. I didn't even really plan to wear makeup today anyways because it's not like I wear it every day. But just for the sake of the video and I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys while doing my makeup like the good old days. I truly only pick up the vlog camera when I feel like filming which has definitely hurt my presence here on YouTube. I feel like uh, <laughs> my audience definitely hasn't grown a lot on here or really tune in but the ones that do do that i love you for that but i would rather you know post whenever i feel like it and protect my mental health because especially i'm doing so much else with my day than trying to stay consistent and film when i don't feel like it force it and you know hinder my kind of creativity and uh, i still watch youtube i love to watch steph bauer boer i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce her name i love to watch Paige Lorenz. i love to watch jeez who do i watch let me go through my subscriber list i listen to a lot of podcasts on there too like the cancel podcast i love britney broski i love uh, brooke schofield of course i'm also subscribed to morgan in riddle i love tara michelle ava jules kenzie elizabeth and cody co i love him and i didn't know this but he's from calgary he's from the city that i'm in moya mo Whiny. love her yeah i still watch youtube i don't even want to put blush on today i just kind of want to i don't know i'm boring and i do the same old thing every single day i just really like my clean girl makeup and i like wearing minimal makeup i know that when i was younger and how i grew on youtube was doing those really extra glam makeup especially like eyeshadow like i was really into that but honestly that's just not me anymore i don't ever think that i'm gonna be posting a video like that again just because it truly does not reflect who i am now it's not even something that i do do so i like don't even know how i'd go back to it maybe i should be doing it so i can improve on my makeup skills because it is definitely not good and it has gone from bad to worse before we leave i have to walk koa koa as well she just has a lot of anxiety around other dogs and some people she's really not the most friendly but to the people that knows her she is so cute and cuddly but she's still so cute and she's my daughter so like what can i say i think i'm gonna pack or actually the one that i wanted is already packed in my bag i've been using the gizu honey infused lip oil but the strawberry sorbet one and it like tints my lips kind of red and it leaves like this glossy sheen i love Love it they just came out with it if you guys miss my makeup um videos just tune into my tiktok because i post a lot of uh, makeup content there now yeah i'm just not gonna go in with blush and i'm gonna cover this pimple though because this is annoying me at least we're having a good hair day today okay i'm gonna set my face one last time and then we are out the door that was a very quick makeup as you can see i literally did nothing i did the bare minimum i'm putting on some accessories before i leave but i'm gonna do an all white situation today i know it's kind of basic and boring but 
I am just not feeling it today, you guys, and I want to be comfortable. Maybe because I'm on my period, but anyway, this belt is from Uniqlo, and it, this is so embarrassing for me to admit. But this is my first belt, and now that I have one, I gotta buy more because I love it. It just adds adds something to your outfit. It makes you look more put together. Heaven Mayhem earrings. They're gold, but I heard that mismatching metal is in, so I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Cute. And then I think I'm gonna put on black loafers for shoes. Have to pick a jacket because it's kind of chilly outside, but not too cold. Thank God it's warming up. Pants are from Lovers and Friends from Revolve, and my shirt is from Open Fort. So looks like this. I didn't just bring Coke Zero. I brought True Lime as well. Cute. You don't drink quartz syrup. Sometimes you just need, you know, a little sweet treat. I actually can't have Coke Zero without True Lime now. Physically, I cannot. Cheers! She is beauty, she is grace, she is Miss United States. Shay, she modeled for us for an often product shoot and she reposted one of the stories that often posted of her but she makes like food videos for reels and they're really good but randomly one of her reels popped off i guess and bella hadid was watching the reels Insane. which is so random like bella hadid was just fully on like reels like scrolling like oh, what am i gonna cook tonight like that's that was her <laughs> yeah. and then she stumbled across shay videos really liked it watched a couple more liked a couple more and uh, was watching Shay's stories, like full on lurking, expecting like nothing out of it. Like, Bella Hadid saw her headbands. She saw often. She probably like oh, saw yeah. the headbands, like, what did she tell? Like, oh, cute. It is actually Bella. Like, she clicked on it and she showed me that it's her account. Mm -hmm. It's not like a fake. It's, ver it's yeah. verified, but like people can buy verified badges now. But when she clicked on the account, like, it, w it was her. It was her account. The real Bella Hadid. It was the real Bella Hadid. Sarah just reminded me of something so mind-blowing. So one of our mood board pictures that we first like got when we were envisioning the brand was Bella Hadid. And we posted her. That is insane. We posted Bella Hadid on our Often Instagram. She is still there to this day as a muse of Often because she wears headbands all the time. And the fact that she saw Often. Happy launch day to all that celebrate. Often is in the car right now. Often HQ is in the car. And we are launching in 15 minutes. We're literally driving. Will we make it in time? I don't know, but we are going to have to launch in the car. It's not a problem though because everything is ready. Like we've done stuff so in advance and even this morning we were working on it so everything's kind of like ready to go we just wanted to sit down to do it but realistically we don't even have to you guys this is so scary i don't know how to feel i'm nervous i was sweating this morning <laughs> <laughs> we're both wearing our headbands our often signature headband she's wearing it in noir and i'm wearing it in ivory and uh, this is it this is we're we're ready 14 minutes we have to be ready it's happening. We're heading out to go to dinner. This is the fit. I have my white pumps. Is this called pumps? They're kind of like kitten heels, but uh, they are still like pointy in the toes and they're from Franco Santo. Dress is from Revolve. I think Lovers and Friends. Blazer is from uh, Lioness. And headband is from Often. Shop now. And I'm like, oh. I got my shiny here. Earrings are from Heaven Mayhem. And uh, this is the outfit for our launch dinner event. It's just the two of us. We're just going out for dinner because I think we deserve a shot at least for all the hard work we put in and to celebrate such a special, you know, crazy day. Like I just filmed a TikTok get ready with me and I just couldn't believe my eyes because while I was getting ready, I got so many orders coming in and I know the last clip that you saw was of me in the car, minutes away from launching. Well, we did. In the car. We launched in the car. But everything went well. Everything was super, super well. But yeah, outfit is giving Meredith Blake. And uh, I'm kind of in love with it. I have to leave right now because we are already late for dinner. Some things never change. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the fit.
done with Pilates. Today's class was a challenge, but it was a good challenge because I felt like I really targeted everything that I wanted to target. Ass, arms, abs. I'm definitely more of a lower body girl than an upper body. My upper body is so weak. Push-ups and just arm workouts, like I can't do them. It's so hard for me, but I feel like as long as I'm consistent with classes, which for me, I'm definitely the type of person that is like consistent for like a week, like three classes a week, let's go. And then I disappear off the face of the earth for like the next two weeks and then I come back. <laughs> so I'm definitely not consistent. I'm working towards more consistency, but I, I love bar. It includes a little bit of ballet and dance just with form and stuff, which I love because I did ballet growing up. So uh, it's just, it's just nice. I did like a little test with the often bands and uh, although our bands are not supposed to be like an athleisure workout band, it's very inclusive. It's for a variety of occasions. I worked out in it in Pilates with this black band and I've also gone out to like get drinks at night and it's kept me warm but it's still like a good light fabric that it won't be soaked with sweat by the end of your class. So it's very versatile. And now I am heading home. 45 minutes in the sauna. It's really for one person, but me and Eli tried fitting in. It was a little cramped, it was a little snug, but we may do. I only took like a couple breaks in between. But other than that, like it was it was 45 minutes and we are dripping sweat. Sorry if it's gross. Literally drip dropping onto the floor. How did you like that, babe? I feel skinny. Sorry if it looks scary thin. Some of the best feelings to sweat though. After you, you sweat, you feel so great. Not so much during, but after. I really want to buy one of these for my house. <laughs> 